Welcome back. One of the Labour government's most vocal critics has been forced to backpedal today. Heather Roy consistently criticised the former government over its attempts to sell our mothballed Skyhawk fleet. But now she's Associate Defence Minister, it seems she's changed her tune. Michael Parkin explains. The twists and turns of politics. In opposition, Heather Roy was sceptical about whether the grounded Skyhawks would ever be sold. We've been told a sale is imminent on about four or five different occasions now and it always falls over. But with the new jobs come a new point of view. Apparently there are two two companies involved. It, it just it, It's exactly the same scenario as, as there was when the government changed. As Associate Minister, it shouldn't be apparently there are two buyers, though, should it? It should be there are two buyers. These are who they are. Oh, look, I've just had a very quick briefing this morning. I'm familiarising myself with a wide range of, of things, and, um, and that, that's where we're at, I'm told. While in opposition, Heather Roy said the sale of the Skyhawks to the Americans was just a joke, and that the 17 fighters should be sold off to collectors. But today, the Associate Minister shied away from that idea. I think that we should look at all a, a, a wide range of options. Obviously, as I say, a sale is the, the best outcome. A sale that's been delayed as New Zealand waits for permission from the US State Department. But at least everyone now agrees on a price for the Skyhawks and Aramakis. When Phil Goff was Minister, he said that the, the sale was, would attract $110 million if both fleets were sold, the Skyhawks and the Aramakis, and I understand that that is still the case. The new Minister did make some new promises regarding our abandoned combat wing, though. She says the Air Force will get the millions it's spent looking after the plastic wrap planes back at the time of sale, which she aims to complete this year. Michael Parkin, One News. Well, in business news.